Now that you understand how to operate your AT Pro metal detector and how various targets can sound, it's time to put the operational knowledge to use. For best detection results, keep your search coil at a constant height and parallel to the ground at all times. Walk slowly as you scan your search coil in a straight line from side to side at a speed of about three to five feet per second. Overlap each sweep by about half of the search coil's width to avoid missing any targets. In order to achieve the deepest depth of detection, avoid lifting the search coil at the end of your swing. Pinpointing is very simple with the AT Pro. We'll go through a few demonstrations today and show different methods of how you can pinpoint a target. And for demonstration purposes, I've got uh, a US quarter and I'll use this orange chip as a marker. We'll go ahead and put the coin in the ground. Uh, we'll bury it several inches deep here. Put that down on the earth. And then what I'll do is I'll take this chip and put it on top for demonstration purposes right there so we can see where the actual target is as we come back over and pinpoint it. The standard method of pinpointing with the AT Pro involves using the pinpoint push button. When you find a target that you wish to dig, move the coil to the side, then press the pinpoint button. This way you don't accidentally tune out the target. So press the button, go back over the location, Watch the meter at the top and listen to the audio. Where you get the strongest response, you should be over it. And then check by going forward and back slowly, looking for the strongest response that way. When you've done this, you should be directly over the target. In this case, we're directly over the chip and it's centered in the middle of our coil. Therefore, you would dig your recovery hole right there below the center of the coil. Another method of pinpointing that some people like to use is pinpointing off either the tip or the tail of the search coil. The double D's hotspot is right down the center line. Use the same basic motion that you used before. Find your target, step to the side, hit the pinpoint button and go over it. Find your strongest audio and center it and simply push forward. And where the LCD meter and the audio take a dive, the target should be right off the tail end of the coil. Now in a similar fashion, you can pull it towards you, find your strong signal, pull the coil towards you, and where the meter falls off and where the audio takes a dive, it should be right off the front of the coil. Yet another method for pinpointing is what we call the DD wiggle, and that's without using the pinpoint button. As you find a target, simply move to the side and begin a tight wiggling pattern, moving toward it until you get the most consistent response and just center up your target and it should be right under the center of the coil. Because of that tight action of that DD coil, you've centered the target without even using the pinpoint button. Another thing I like to do is to take that a step further, wiggle it in, get tight on my target, and I'll just pull the coil away from me. So I know that it's the center of the coil, it's right off the tip end, and we've just kind of combined a couple of our pinpointing methods there Without using the pinpoint button, we've got the wiggle and either the tip or the tail method to really pinpoint where that target is. That's the beauty of pinpointing with this Garrett search coil. The AT Pro can be submerged in water to a maximum depth of 10 feet or 3 meters. Use of the detector below these depths can cause leaks and void the manufacturer's warranty. The AT Pro can be used for searching in and along both saltwater beaches and freshwater streams, lakes, or swimming holes. Saltwater environments are challenging for continuous wave detectors, so proper ground balance is required for stable operation. Ground balance the AT Pro as your environment changes, such as moving from a dry sand beach onto an area where the sand is heavily saturated by saltwater. Salt water is conductive and produces signals similar to foil. First, ground balance the detector to the area that will be hunted. Salt water beaches typically ground balance between zero and 20. If necessary, reduce the sensitivity until the signals become stable. Swing the search coil flat and at a constant height. The detector will be less stable in shallow breaking surf 
where the search coil is in and out of the salt water. In this area, the environment is constantly changing, making it difficult for the detector to stabilize. If necessary to improve stability, you can negatively bias the ground balance by several points. Simply press and release the ground balance button and use the minus notch disc push button to manually reduce the ground balance setting. Introduce only as much negative bias as is needed to achieve stable operation. If necessary, notch out the first pixel under foil. It is important to note that by notching out this pixel, detection of some small jewelry items will be reduced. The headphones included with the AT Pro are standard land search headphones. They can be used for searching along waterways and for wading. If you're going to completely submerge the headset, there are optional headphones available from Garrett, which are completely waterproof. The AT Pro's LCD gives a continual indication of the remaining battery life. This battery level indicator displays four illuminated bars when the detector is operating with fresh or fully charged batteries. The AT Pro will remain fully functional until the batteries need to be replaced. When the battery level indicator is down to one bar, it's time to replace the batteries or recharge them. Nickel metal hydride rechargeable AA size batteries can be used or regular AA size alkaline batteries. Expect 20 to 40 hours of operation depending upon the type of batteries used and their quality. Access and replace the batteries by rotating the battery cover housing one quarter turn counterclockwise. Pull and remove the cap to slide the battery holder out. Remove batteries when the AT Pro will be stored for longer than 30 days. The AT Pro is a rugged machine designed for outdoor use in all environments. However, as with all electronic equipment, there are some simple ways to care for the detector to maintain its high performance. Avoid extreme temperatures as much as possible, such as storing the detector in an automobile trunk during the summer or outdoors in sub-freezing weather. Keep the detector clean. Wipe the control housing with a damp cloth when necessary. Disassemble the stem and wipe it and the search coil clean with a damp cloth. Replace the protective cover on the connector when not using the headphones. Your Garrett AT Pro represents the highest quality in metal detector manufacturing. Protect it and complement it with quality accessories from Garrett like these. Protect your new search coil with a coil cover to lengthen its lifespan. There's also a full array of accessory search coils available for the AT Pro, including a smaller 5 by 8 inch DD coil, two different size concentric search coils, and even a 4 a half inch Super Sniper coil for tiny targets and for getting into tight areas. Garrett's Ram Publishing Company offers a number of books designed to help you find more treasure. You can find these books and others at your local Garrett dealer's shop or visit garrett.com for more information. The Garrett Pro Pointer Pinpointing Detector is an essential tool to speed your target recovery time. The Pro Pointer's audible and vibrating alarms increase in intensity as the pinpointer moves closer to the target. Garrett also offers an assortment of recovery and digging tools for the different types of environments from which you will retrieve treasure targets. Study your country's antiquity laws concerning metal detecting before you use your metal detector. A sincere request that Charles Garrett makes of every user of one of his detectors is that every place searched be left in better condition than it was found. When hunting, it's good to remember that any metal detector may discover underground power lines, explosives, or other items which, when struck, could cause personal injury. Always use reasonable caution in digging toward any target, particularly in areas where you are uncertain of underground conditions. Hard work, patience, and research are three keys to success with a metal detector. Another key is how well you understand your own machine. To truly understand your new AT Pro, spend at least 10 hours searching in the zero discrimination mode. Dig and study all of your targets during your learning phase. Begin hunting in the standard mode to practice your techniques. 
switch to the pro mode after you become more experienced. Do not expect to achieve the greatest accuracy and success until you've used the AT Pro for at least 100 hours. This instructional video gives you a real head start on learning to use the AT Pro properly. Watch it several times. Meanwhile, study your owner's manual and you will begin to develop hunting techniques of your own. Your success will increase as you begin to master your AT Pro. It's up to you. Happy hunting.